Hey guys, this is Dark Skeleton, and we're taking a look at the Burly Rockjaw Trog. Now, this card is actually a little bit of a change of pace from everything else we've seen in Goblins vs. Gnomes so far. This guy is a 3-5 for 4 mana that has the special ability whenever your opponent casts a spell, gain 2 attack. In some respects, I think this card's actually kinda hard to evaluate. At its base level, it's a Sinjin Shieldmaster without the taunt, which is actually a huge deal. That's why you play Sinjin over a Cho and Yeti in some decks. Now, compared to the Yeti, it just has one less attack, which would make it the inferior card. But, it has the ability to power up. If your opponent casts any spells and neglect to remove this Trog from the field, then yeah, the Trog will have more attack than a Cho and Yeti. And it has the potential to even go up higher than just 5 attack, you could even get 7 attack, although I really doubt that's going to happen in 99% of circumstances. I think though at the very least it forces your opponent to think twice about what they want to remove from your field and if they want to AoE your field down with a Consecration or something like that. Since this card punishes your opponent for playing cards that remove your board presence, I think this card might actually be run in more aggressive decks rather than control decks. The real question though is whether it's worth running at all in comparison to Cho and Yeti which is guaranteed to have that 4 attack. At the very least, I think it's interesting. It's not another bloody mech. We've had way too many of those. Mechs are going to be so dominant in this expansion. As far as I can tell, it's not an overpowered card either, and it's not especially flashy. But it is a decent alternative to something like Sentient Shieldmaster, Cho, and Yeti for your 4 drops. I guess with many cards, time will be the teller to determine whether this card really has any place in any decks at all, or if it'll be kind of a toss away that's just inferior to Cho and Yeti. And speaking of Cho and Yeti, although it's considered a really good arena card, there aren't all that many decks that run it in Constructed. Any more, that is. It used to actually be a very popular card before Nexramus. And speaking of arena mode, I think this card is one you would actually draft a lot of the time in arena. Getting that 5 health on an arena minion makes a big difference, and it still has that potential for the plus 2 attack effect. But yes, for Constructed, it's very up in the air whether this card's worth a spot in any deck at all. I want to know what you think. Would you run this card in any constructed decks whatsoever, or do you consider this to just be a trash tier card? I've been Dark Skeleton, thank you guys for watching.